What we're going to look at now are transitions. Remember, transitions are effects that allow us to blend together different pieces of footage or remove a harsh jump between two different clips. The transitions are found within the edit pane of the tasks panel. Do please be aware that this is elements 4 that I'm using. You might have a earlier or later version where the route to tools is slightly different but the ultimate use of the tool is exactly the same. So within the edit tab we have the transitions option. So if I click on transitions and here we can see all of the transitions that are available to us. So we can scroll through these and it will give us an idea of what these different transitions allow. There are quite a few available to us and if you're unsure of what a transition does, all we have to do is double click on a transition and we'll see a little preview between the A and B options. I'm going to keep it relatively simple for now and make use of the dip to black transition. Okay, so we go from our original clip, dip to a blacked out screen, and then come back to the footage. And I'm in this example going to position it between the view of the sky and the introduction of the trees. So all I have to do is press and hold the left mouse button and drag that transition to the transition rectangle. As soon as I'm in position, release the left mouse button and the transition is applied. To preview that transition, in, once it's in place, all we have to do is double click the left mouse button. It should work. It's not in this instance. But if I press play, we'll see how the transition applies. Remember that the transition by default is only one second long. But if we want to increase or change the transition in any way, we can, once we've highlighted or selected that transition, click on the Edit Transition button to the bottom left of the Transitions pane. And here we see we have a number of options. Duration, as I said, is by default one second. Remember, we can change that length either by using the scrubby slider. If you have a close look at the mouse cursor, you'll see that I've got a black arrow underneath my point index finger. If I press and hold the left mouse button, I can increase the time by dragging to the right, or I can decrease the time by dragging to the left. I'm going to make it three seconds long. We can also change the alignment of the split, or the transition rather. It is best to make the transition center at cut. Remember that means that we lose an equal amount of footage in the first clip and the second clip. If it starts at cut, that means that we'd lose none of the footage from the first clip, clip A in this, but we'd lose all of the footage from B. If it ends at cut, then we lose all of the footage, the three seconds worth of footage from clip A, and lose nothing from clip B. In certain circumstances, that can mean that sometimes you get jumping between footage. Remember, what we're using in order to make these transitions work is the trimmed footage. If you've got no trimmed footage between clips, then what's used instead is a repetition of the last frame of a clip. And that can mean it might suddenly appear after the transition and just before the new clip comes in, which isn't necessarily what we're looking for. Center at cut normally removes this problem. So if we click center at cut, and then we can make sure we're happy with it. Be aware that some transitions will have additional 
options and we can also have show actual sources displayed it's not always best to have show actual sources displayed because again that does eat into the processing power of the machine once we're happy with the editing to the transition if we click on done and then we can have another preview of that transition.